Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, Ido. How are you tonight? I'm fine. And you? I'm great. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Sandra, can you hear us? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. No. Good night. <laughs> good evening is correct. Good evening, yes. <laughs> good night is like, paso buenas noches. Uh, <laughs> and I'll be like, yes. where are you going? Yes. Teacher. Come back. Yes. La parte 4.4 del, 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 ¿cómo se llama? De la plataforma ya la hicieron. Um, no. I don't know. Maybe not, but we can check that one tonight. 4.4. Right? Yes. Okay. We can check it tonight. Please. Yes. All right. We're going to do that. Well, um, and what did you do today, guys? Work. Work, work, work. work. What kind of job do you do? I work in, uh, um, uh, I am a computer engineer mm -hmm. and um, my job is uh, check the server, mm -hmm. uh, database, uh, that's, that is. That's it, all right. Sandra, what did you do today? Mm, nothing interesting. <laughs> Only stay in my house and check the, the, platform. the platform. The platform. You're not working currently? No, <laughs> I don't work. But you are studying. That's good. Hey, Jairo, I like the thing you have behind you. That decoration. Is that a candle? Uh, yes, it's a kind of you can see yeah it is a candle right it's a candle but uh, the this metal it's yeah on the middle kind yeah. of baton uh -huh. i don't know how do you say in english this material no i don't know i don't what because is it called it's not not is it's, it's not? not it's not iron uh-huh what it's is it like a in his, in Spain, is uh -huh. latón. Latón in Spanish. All right. Yeah, I can check later. No idea, but it's okay. beautiful. I want something like that. I love it. Yes. It's so beautiful. I, I, when I can see in the background in the market or in the yes in the market. Uh huh. And I buy it. Ah. You bought it in the market. Yes. That's nice. I love it. Welcome, Byron. Hi, Mauricio. Hi, David. Welcome. All right. We're going to start. Uh, there's this video that I want you to watch. It is to work on our intonation. It's going to be very interesting. Uh, watch. Look. Let's watch. <clears throat> Recording this video, yeah. Intonation of questions. Intonation is the music of language, the way the voice goes up and down. In a sentence with rising intonation, the voice goes up at the end. Listen to the way my voice goes up at the end of this question. Are you here on business? We use rising intonation for yes-no questions. Listen to the rising intonation in these yes-no questions. Are you here on business? Are you in my class? Is that your sister? 
Is he our new teacher? In a sentence with falling intonation, the voice goes down at the end of the sentence. Listen to the way my voice goes down at the end of this question. What's your email address? We use falling intonation for information questions. Listen to the falling intonation in these information questions. What's your name? How old is she? Where is he from? Okay, we're going to practice that, but take notes, all right? So when we have, yes, no questions, it's going to have the intonation of a question, all right? Yes, no question is going to go up at the end in WH questions are going to go down, meaning, meaning that the intonation in reality is going to be like a statement, okay? So if I say, for example, guys, if I say, my name is Jocelyn, all right? Listen to the intonation, it's like flat, right? My name is Jocelyn. And the question is, what's your name? It, it is not, what's your name? No. What's your name? My name is Jocelyn. The same intonation. Do you hear the same? Yes? All right. So WH questions don't have the intonation of a question in English. All right. Did you know that? No. Okay. Yes. Yes. You didn't? All right. Only yes, no questions are going to be pronounced like that. All right, let's practice with some, some sentences here. Listen to the different intonation in these pairs of sentences. Are you in my class? What's your name? Is that your sister? How old is she? Is he our new teacher? Where is he from? Now listen and repeat. Click on pause after each question. Are you in my class? Go ahead. This time I want to hear you because we're not those many. No somos tanto Are you hoy. in my class? Are you in my class? Are you in my class? Yes. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your, What's name? your name? Is that your sister? What's your name? Sister? Is that your sister? Is that your sister? Is that your sister? How old is she? 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 Old is, she? Mm -hmm. is he our new teacher? Where is he your new teacher? Exactly. Very good. Is he our new teacher? Where is he from? Where is he from? Where is he from? Where is he from? Is that clear? Is that clear? So so. So so. So so? What's the question? What's the doubt? What is the difference when uh, is down? Down? And the difference is that it doesn't have the intonation of ah, the question. When, so if I say when I, I have, want more information. Uh -huh, when it is a WH question, when the answer is not going to be yes, no question. This is down, okay? Imagine if I say I have a car. Why do you have a car? Why do you have a car? It would be the same, exactly the same. Why do you have a car? So you don't change the intonation. But if I say, do you have a car? In that case, it is a question. It goes up because the answer is yes or no. Does it make sense? So the intonation here is exactly the same as this one. I have a car. All right, repeat guys, say, I have a car. 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 And remember I this information. Grabense eso que acaban de decir. I have a car. Okay. Y ahora, why do you have a car? 
Why do you, Why have, do a you have a car? Why do you have a car? Why do you have a car? Okay. I have a car. Que no cambia al final. I have a car. Why do, Why you, do have you have a car? Exactly. So the intonation doesn't change. And in the other one, do you have a car? Go ahead. Do you have a car? Do you have a car? Do you have a car? It's gonna go up. So write it down. Yes, no questions. Go up in WH questions. Go down. Sorry, this is up. Up and okay, okay. down. All right. Write it down. Don't forget. Okay. Clear? Yes. Awesome. Let me see. Uh -huh. This is something we're going to do tonight. You said 4.4, right? That you need a help with 4.4. This is 4.6. All right. Okay. We're going to do this exercise because some of you have questions of the answers. All right. What is it? Read the following complete by using do, does, don't, doesn't, or object pronouns. What is the answer here, guys? Do you like science fiction mm -hmm. movies? Mm -hmm. Has anybody completed this? Yeah, alguien hizo eso, yeah. Yes. Who? Yes. I did. And this is the answer? Is this the answer? No, it's only uh, the auxiliary. Uh huh. Only do. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hydro, so it's only do. Okay. Yeah. And then no, I. Don't. 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 Remember, it is do und. Don't. 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 That is the right pronunciation. Don't. I don't like. We are talking about science fiction movies. So what is the object pronoun? Do you like science fiction movies? No, I don't. I don't like science fiction movies very much. But we have to replace it. Them. 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 No, I like them. Okay. I don't like them exactly because it's plural very much. It's a conversation, Jairo. Uh, and ah, okay. here, Jake and Lisa like soap operas. What is the question? Do Jake and Lisa? Jake and Lisa. Uh, they do. Yes. Jake. Doesn't. Jake. Does. does. I think it is affirmative. Jake does, does. But I don't know about Lisa. I think that's the answer. Why don't you ask? ¿A quién le van a preguntar? She. Her. her exactly. Her. Why don't you ask her? her? Yeah. What kind of movies Noriko and Ethan like? We're missing the auxiliary. Do. Yes. Do. What? Does. Does. Does he play? Does. Does he play? The cello, I think it is called. I have his new CD. Let's listen to. It's then okay. we're talking about the CD. It. it. Let's listen to it to the CD. Okay. Okay. After, let's listen to Andrea Bocelli. I love. Him, it's yeah, because we're talking him. about him. Look, he is the best. I love him. I love Andrea Bocelli, okay? Him. This is a guy. It's a man. Andrea. All right. It should be right. Number five. There is a mistake. What is it? Number five. Uh, maybe it is negative. Jake doesn't, right? But I don't know about Lisa. Let me see. Yep. It is negative. I think Sandra was right. I think she told me it was negative. 
Okay, very good. Let's continue. Now we're going to learn about would like. Okay, we're going to use this topic. Look, we're going to use the topic would like to offer things or to ask for things. All right. So, guys, if you go to a restaurant, for instance, you're going to watch a video and we're going to do an activity. Okay, but listen to me for a second. So if you go to a restaurant, can I say, hey, I want water. Is that okay? Mm, nope. Nope. Why not? Because it's, I don't know. It's rude. Yeah, rude. It but is like, rude, yeah. Imagine yeah, you are right. going to the restaurant. Quiero tortillas. Tráigame. Right? We don't say that. <laughs> We don't order like that. We have to be more polite. So something we're going to be using is would like to offer something and to ask for something. So the right way to say it would be I would like I would like some water, please. Okay. Me gustaría. Quisiera. Eso significa, okay, me gustaría o quisiera. I would like some water, please. And if I offer it to you, I would say, hey, would you like some water? Gustaría algo de agua, caballero? Okay. Or like quisiera, right? Both. So this is the topic we're going to study right now. It, it works and it helps to offer things and to ask for things. Here it is. I think before we study that, we're going to do, no, we're not going to do this one. We're gonna practice a conversation where you can see would like to make an invitation, all right? So let's listen. In this lesson, participants would listen to a conversation where would for invitations is used when making. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, where do you see would in like? In this lesson, participate. Sorry. Where do you see would like in the conversation? And also, guys, when you say would in a subject, um, let me write it here somewhere. Maybe black. Hold on. <clears throat> Look, guys, when I say I would, he would, they would. You can use a contraction, all right? So you can use this. And this is the contraction of would, okay? Do you know how to pronounce this? Or no? You no. Don't? Okay, I will help you pronounce it. It's very easy. All right. Okay, sorry, guys. This is... How do you pronounce this one? I, right? The I. only thing you're gonna do, I. look, this is how it sounds. It is I. And the only thing we're doing is adding D, okay? So it's I'd, okay? How do you pronounce this one? He. He, okay, he. And you add D, it's he'd. Heed, okay? Yeah. Very simple. Just add the hey. sound d at the end. This is they. they. And you put this, they'd. They. All right. Let's see this one. How do you think it is pronounced? With. Yeah, this is we. And with the, with, right? With. Okay, then you have you. How do you pronounce this? You'd. You'd, exactly. That is the pronunciation of the contraction of would. Is that clear? 
Yes. Yes. All right. So where do you see examples of would like in the dialogue? Can you help me find them? And Susan, line two. Thanks, I'd love to. I'd love to. This means I would love to, right? Would like. I'd I would love to, or I'd love to. What else? They would I'd like to. I'd like to. Mm -hmm. Look, this question, guys. Would you like to go? Would you like to go? Okay, notice that after would like to, you can say would like something or would like to in a verb, right? This would be something. For example, I would like some water or I would like to practice, for example. So you have to use two. This is an invitation right here. Would you like to go? What else? That's it, right? No more. Let's practice. Put the microphone on mute and we're going to repeat. Ready? Oh, by the way, I wrote the pronunciation of this, guys. This. What is it? Accept. Exactly. When you have double C, it's going to sound like an X. Okay. So it is accept. Accept. All right. So every time you have CC, read it like in Spanish, guys, because we say dirección, right? Dirección. So it is the same. It is pronounced as an X. Accept. I cannot think of other examples, but yeah, that's one. That's the most common one. All right. Listen and repeat. Used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I'd love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Everybody repeat and unmute. Are you guys repeating, Mauricio, Ulises? Let's repeat. Okay. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. Thanks. I'd love to. <laughs> yeah, try to imitate them, guys. What time does it start? Eight o'clock. At eight o'clock. Eight, eight o'clock. At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? That question goes up, guys. Do you want to have dinner at six? Because it's a yes no question. Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Um, I'd like to. Late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Oh, that's okay. Okay, let's meet at the gate. Okay, let's meet at the gate. Do you know what the gate is? Puerta. Puerta. It is bigger than a door. This is a gate. Look. It's, it's a portón. Mm -hmm. It's bigger, bigger than a door. Um, where is it? Here. Nope. Hey, I lost the dialogue. Oh, here. That sounds fine. See you there. Uh, 
That sounds fine. See you there. All right. All done. This one we're not going to practice because we are going to see how to use would like in a verb, okay, or a noun. It depends. Let's see. By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of would in questions and answers. Remember I told you last class to pay attention to the conversation when they used I like to or I love to? Well, now it's our turn to study how to form a sentence for accepting and refusing an invitation. Let's check it out. Would. Verb plus two plus verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Contraction I'd equals I would. In order to accept an invitation, we need to follow the structure. Subject plus would plus verb plus to plus verb plus complement. Examples. I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. And when we need to refuse an invitation, we need to follow this structure. Subject plus would plus verb plus to plus verb comma but plus examples I would love to go to her new house but I can't I would like to go to her new house but I can't but I need to save okay so first thing we're gonna practice is offering things all right uh, you can offer things or activities. In this example here, we are offering things and activities, all right? So when you put things, you don't need to. Would you like an apple? This is a thing. This is an activity. Look, would you like to sleep now? So you're going to use to when you have an activity, okay? So we're going to do a very short speaking practice asking these questions and your answers guys are gonna be yes what is the short answer guys if I ask you hey would you like an apple what's the answer yes I'd like an apple and the short answer is yes I would oh sorry that is the short answer uh, it's okay you didn't know Mauricio no problem or no I wouldn't wouldn't exactly wouldn't that is the negative short answer okay so imagine Mauricio could have answered correctly because something you have to I think I told you this at the beginning I I'm starting to mix memories guys with with the other group but look guys we started like this when we say is she happy what is the short answer yes she is yes she is exactly and if i say do you work what's the answer what's the short answer yes, yes I, I do yes i do okay and if I say, can you, can you speak English? What's the answer? Yes, I can. Yes, yes I, I can. can. All right. And if I say, does he live alone? What's the answer? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Yes, he does. Okay. And if I say, Will you travel this year? What's the answer? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. All right. So notice the pattern, guys. I can notar el patrón, okay? Look, you have, this is the verb B. 
right? And the answer is with the verb be. This is do or does, and the answer is with do, right? The question here starts with can, the answer is with can. We start here with does, the answer is with does. Will, will. And now that we're studying another one, if I say, would you like to go? What's the answer then? Yes, I will. They would. Would, exactly. So it is still the same, right? So yes. if you study a new topic, you can predict what the short answer is because it agrees with the, with the question. So what if I ask you guys, have you ever been to Italy? What is the short answer? Yes, I. Yes, I've been. No, remember it's the yes, yes, I have been. Yes, I have. Only that. Yes, I have. Only the auxiliary. Yes, I have. Yes, because it's always going to be short, right? Yes, I do. Yes, I will. Yes, I can. Yes, I. Yes, he does. Yes, I have only the first, the first word. Okay, so you can predict it. All right. Don't forget. That's gonna help you later. Okay, we're gonna have this small practice here. Imagine if I'm working with Angelica. Angelica, where have you been? Ya no la había visto, Angelica. Hi. Hi. Okay. Imagine I'm working with Angelica, and I say, Angelica, would you like an apple? Yes, I will. Yes, I would. Okay. So if you can, guys, extend the conversation and say why. Okay. Because I like apples. All right. And then I say, would you like a sandwich? You say, yes, I would. Okay. Would you like to sleep now? No, I wouldn't. Why? Because I'm not tired. Because I'm in class. <laughs> right? <laughs> So answer, and if you can give an explanation, that would be better. I will send you this, all right, to practice offering things. Ready? Do you have any questions before we practice? No? Okay. Well, let's practice. It's going to be quick. And let me see, in small groups of three. Two, three, okay. Accept the invitation, please. This morning. Yeah. Um, okay. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Mauricio, would you like an apple? Okay. Would you like a cup of, of tea? Uh, no, I wouldn't. Would you like a pin of beer? Uh, yes, I would. <laughs> would you like to sleep now? Yes, I would. <laughs> Excuse me, I don't listen. Yes, I would. Why? Uh, because it's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. And you? And yes, I would. Because I like the sandwich. And okay. you? And uh, you, Mauricio, would you like a sandwich? Um. I would like to watch um, on TV the the new programs 
about the on weekends, the survivor. And sometimes so popper and and you the same question. Uh, would Ah, yes. <laughs> Are would. you tired? Yes, because uh, Sunday I I did exercise and I feel so tired. My legs oh. hurts. hurts. <laughs> <laughs> mm, would you like to go to a party? Mm, no. No. I no, wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't like to go. Ouch. Would you like to? No. Would Would you like a cup of tea, Sandra? Say yes. that one more time, Gustavo. Uh, Repeat the question. Okay. Would you like a cup of tea? Yeah, you can connect it. You can say cup of, a cup of tea. <laughs> cup, cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Cup, of, cup tea. of Would you like a cup of tea? Yes. Cup of tea. Okay. Yes, I would like a cup of tea in the afternoon. I like tours or videos about this country and it's so good. I, uh, I would like to. To travel in this country. Yes, it's um, a different country to El Salvador. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's most different, different from. <laughs> yes. <laughs> different country from El Salvador. Ah, okay. From El Salvador, yes. What okay. country are you talking about? Uh, Denmark. Oh, yeah. Very different. Teacher in Argentina is a good country. It depends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Why? the thing is, no, the thing is that the economy is terrible. Oh. Yeah, it's a nightmare. Una pesadilla. <laughs> the economy. <laughs> but in terms of security and safety, it is way better uh -huh. because uh, there is not as much crime. And if you take mm -hmm. public transportation at 3 a.m. in the city, right? At least in the city, it's not that dangerous. In El oh. Salvador, you cannot do that. You know, <laughs> in El Salvador, <laughs> it's very, very dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I know here you can see people walking their dogs at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 5 a.m., 3. So it can be safe in some areas and 
Yeah, because in some areas at that time, it's not recommended to be by yourself, but in the majority of places, yeah. And sometimes you see a lot of people at uh, like 3 a.m. having a drink outside a restaurant, like on the street, on the on the sidewalk. Yeah. On la wow. cera. Yeah, uh -huh. but in, on a table, obviously, right? So yeah, it is safe. That's oh. the advantage, but the economy is terrible. So it is very good to live here if you work for another country. That's why all my students are from El Salvador. Not oh. from <laughs> Not from Argentina. No. Mm -mm. Oh. Exactly. So, okay. Yep. And, and, and where, do, where do you live in Argentina? In Cordoba? No, Buenos Aires. The city. Oh, okay. Okay. The city. How do you know about Cordoba? <laughs> you have friends <laughs> uh, there? My, uh, my father live, uh, live uh -huh. when he is young. When he, he was young. Yeah, was young, yes. Yep. That's another place, kind of centric, we can say, but yeah, this is the city. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes. We're going to go back now. Let's go. Okay. How was that practice? Easy? Very easy. For a little bit. Okay. Let me see. Here we have a new Byron, Gustavo, Sandra. Very good. All right. So that practice was easy, simple, because there's simply yes, no questions, right? And they're offering you something. So all those questions you have to understand, like, Quisiera hacer esto, quisiera esto, in this moment, all right? Not in general, guys, in this instant. That was the question. Let's see the structure, and if you can, take notes, please. By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of word in questions and answers. Remember I told you last class to pay attention to the conversation when they used I like to or I love to? Well, now it's our turn to study how to form a sentence for accepting and refusing an invitation. Let's check it out. Would. Verb plus to plus verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to. But I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Contraction. I'd equals I would. In order to accept an invitation, we need to follow the structure. Subject plus would plus verb plus to plus verb plus complement. Examples. I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. And when we need to refuse an invitation, we need to follow this structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb, comma, but plus. Examples. I would love to go to her new house, but I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. When they used I like to. Okay, how is the structure, guys? Is it clear? You can say yeah. yes, I would, but if you're going to add more information, you say I would like to. But this and that, okay? That is another way of answering. Okay. I don't think we will have that much time to work on the speaking activity. I think we're gonna do that one tomorrow, but we're gonna do this reading. This one right here. Look. Let me see. No, maybe we can, maybe we can discuss the questions. Okay. I'm gonna send you six questions, all right? So that you can discuss them in a group. 
First question says, says, for example, would you like to travel to another continent and why? Okay, so you say, yes, I would, and you answer why. Or I would like to because, la la la, would you like to be a teacher? Why and why not? That's an interesting question. Why you would and why not? Okay, so I'm going to send you six questions and the rest of the questions we're going to study tomorrow. Okay, the working groups. I think we're going to work, work with the same group. Let me see. Yeah, okay. Accept the invitation, please, and give me one minute to send it. Ulises, Ulises, would you like to travel to another country? An another continent, sorry. Yes, I would. You can say, uh, I would like to travel to Asia. I would like to travel to Europe because, so try to speak more this time. I could travel. I would like to. Uh, Japan. Ulises, I would like to travel. I would to travel. Like, I would like. I would like to travel. Yes. Oh. Japan. Japan. Because. Mm -hmm. Why? Because. A good person. The food is good. <laughs> and you can shop in <laughs> a little thing. <laughs> it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. this country <laughs> and you would you mm -hmm. like to travel another country yes. continent yes i would uh, why and where okay. where uh africa. i would like to travel to africa, <laughs> africa. try to use the structure <laughs> okay why because i love the the animals and the yeah, I, I want to meet mm -hmm. Africa. Oh, in that case, you say, I want to know. I want to know I, Africa. To know Africa. Yes, for a place you uh, say, no, not meet. Mm -hmm. No, not meet. Meet, yeah. no, no. no, no, okay. And you, Gustavo, would you like to travel to another continent? You're on mute, Gustavo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the next question. <laughs> next question. Yeah, would you okay, like Would you like to be a teacher, Gustavo? Uh, would you like to be a teacher? Mm -hmm. I don't. I would like to be a teacher. Uh, what would you like yeah. to teach? I would. I would like to teach about. Technology? Technology. Because technology. G. G, technology. 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 Uh, why? Because when do you teach, you learn more. When you teach? When you teach, you yeah, learn. It's, it's not a question. When do you teach? It's a question. When you teach, you learn. Perfect. Yes, teaching is the best way of learning. You're right about that. What about you, Sandra? Would you like to be a teacher? No, I would. I wouldn't. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> because it's so difficult. <laughs> you, you think it is difficult? It depends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it can be. You I don't... So... <laughs> um, yes, I would. What would you like to teach? I teach. Um, you teach or you would like to teach? I would. I, uh, come on, come on. <laughs> I, I would I, like. I would like. I would. 
I would like to teach to teach uh, yes mathematics. <laughs> ah, interesting. And what were you saying, Sandra? I think I interrupted you. Sorry. Uh, um, you are so intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> No, anybody who, who teaches <laughs> has to analyze stuff, memorize things. So, yeah. Do you have a little pa passion? Is it correct? <laughs> a, a little would be short fish, como corta. No. no <laughs> you no. have a lot. A lot of passion. You need a lot of patience. Mm -hmm. Yes. Patience. Yeah, that is true. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to learn uh, another language? Gustavo? Yes, I would like to learn English mm -hmm. because I want to improve my conversation with other clients or other people in different countries. Different countries, yes. Countries. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you work from home too, right, Gustavo? Uh, I work at home, yes. Yeah, work from home. Okay, awesome. Uh, what about you, Sandra? Let me check the other group, guys. <laughs> yes, I would like... Uh, and would you like to meet your family at the weekend? Um, yes, I would like to, to meet my family. And, and what would you will. like to do with them? Um, I I would like to to eat a lot of meat <laughs> <laughs> with them. Okay. <laughs> Are you hungry right now, Maurice? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, What's next? Uh, <laughs> Ulysses. And you? Yes, I would you like to, I think, maybe. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know why. <laughs> why? And you? Yes, I would like. Um, with my family, uh, we do different activities. For example, go to the mall. Um, eat pupusas on Saturday is necessary. So uh, let me tell you this. When you start a sentence with the verb, it's imperative, okay? So if I say, for example, read a book, what am I saying? I'm saying, lean un libro, right? Read a book. Okay. Stand up, levantense, right? Yes. So in your case, you're gonna say, I like doing different activities, for example, uh, going to restaurants with ing okay going to restaurants uh, going to parks uh, shopping swimming etc okay para okay. que no esté dando ordenes <laughs> ah, okay. because you're yeah, saying you're saying vayan a comer <laughs> with, with my shy with my shadow is necessary <laughs> yes uh -huh. so you're gonna say hey close the door okay uh -huh. okay teacher. Here. all right so you describe activities or hobbies or anything with ing don't forget okay okay all right we're gonna go back let's go Here we are. That was an interesting discussion. Tomorrow we have more questions to discuss and um, with more detail, all right? But I hope that at this moment, if you go to a restaurant, guys, you say, I would like a glass go of water, sleep. please. Sorry. Go to sleep. <laughs> I would like to go to sleep in my case, yes. So a substitute of want is I would like, okay? So I want to sleep or I would like to sleep. So sometimes we say quiero dormir and sometimes we say quisiera, right? Okay, so use I would like to. 
Very good. We're going to continue tomorrow, guys. Thank you for joining me. I have. I hope you have a beautiful night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye, teacher. Bye, Bye. teacher. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night.